the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Lacey Swope. He gave back so much. Right. I mean, he loved people mm -hmm. with all he had, and he never apologized for it. And he loved our country. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, after being at his house, Lacey, and interviewing him and our story running and just seeing uh, how many people were touched by really how brave he was through the fight and just kind of looking back over his career. I, th I think Joe C. said it best. I mean, we're heartbroken. Yeah. But then you start living back through those memories. And, right. I mean, I think about that song, Red Solo Cup. I mean, it's like things <laughs> like that. Uh, he's kind of embedded in the Oklahoma heartland spirit mm -hmm, yes. as well. And uh, our thoughts with Trisha, his three children, mm -hmm. and the grandchildren this morning, and uh, his longtime manager, uh, Mitch, I had texted him early this morning just saying we're praying for you, and he just said thank you, Robin. So our hearts definitely with uh, Toby Keith's family today. Yeah, a true Oki for sure, yes. and so very proud to be from Oklahoma. Yeah. Everywhere in the world that he went, he yeah. would tell people that. Yes. He loved it. Absolutely, guys. We are waking up across the Sooner State with cloud cover, with drizzle, with a little fog, a little dreary to kick off the day, depending on your location. Other area skies are pretty clear. Now, there's no real cloud cover in the mid-upper levels here. It's the fog in the low levels that's limiting visibility at times on our Lucky Star Sky Cam Network. You can see our concho cam. That's the bottom left, already breaking daylight. Jeremy Carter's out on the roads, though, because since we have the fog and we have that added moisture and temps close to freezing, some areas 20s, there is the chance for some black ice. Jeremy, you've been out all morning for us. Have you found any problems as far as slick spots as of yet? Go ahead. Not yet, Lacey. However, it is freezing. I do have ice accumulating on my mirrors. I'm on 33, and uh, I bet you that we ain't got much better than a half a mile of visibility. And there are some wet spots on the road. I'm doing brake checks, not getting any ice yet, but it wouldn't surprise me at all. Is some split spots don't spring up here on us real quick. Back to you. Okay, great update there. That's what we're watching for. Once the sun comes up, it'll take a little bit, but then we'll start to warm up. And if we have any of that patchy black ice, it will improve. But really, for now, in the next hour, please be careful. Let me show you a shot here from Stillwater. This is actually I-35, and underneath, that's Highway 51. It's a big bridge there for folks familiar. And in the upper 20s, there is a little bit of light fog. I think one thing that's been good this morning, the fog's not been just a complete thick blanket. If it was, all that added moisture would cause more widespread problems, but right now, no major issues, but it's these surfaces that you have to be careful on because the air is running underneath them and it cools that pavement very quickly. So temps are in the 20s, the low 30s, there's the fog. OKC, it's really not causing too many issues as far as visibility is concerned. You get over from El Reno to Okarchi to Kingfisher, it's a little bit thicker. It's also thick down in Grady County where the temperatures are right around freezing. Then from Stillwater to Perry and especially once you get over to Enid and back up towards Alva, that's where we may have to really watch for any elevated surfaces becoming icy. 28 in Guthrie, 28 in El Reno, 31 Shawnee, a lot of 20s, a lot of 30s, meanwhile some 40s in western Oklahoma. We're back to the 40s by noon today, 60s for highs with high thin cloud cover, 50s and low 60s and light winds. This afternoon looks absolutely beautiful. I know we'll have some limited sunshine, some filtered sunshine, but temperatures are going to feel nice. Then tomorrow the winds really pick up, some light rain moves in, still windy on Thursday. Thursday. Friday looks dry, and then it's all about this storm system, which right now is a tricky forecast because the actual system is all the way out over the Pacific. By the 11th, by Super Bowl Sunday, it's coming into the plains, and the exact track of that is key because if it's just cold enough, we might start to dealing with some winter weather, and we're watching for that. It's all about the exact track. Some data takes this right across Oklahoma, which really keeps the temperatures with this system relatively warm, meaning mainly rain. Some data brings it much farther to the south. I say much. It's shift of a few hundred miles, which isn't a whole lot when you're talking about the scheme of things, but that shift would allow that colder air to wrap around the low and could lead to some snow on Super Bowl Sunday. So we are watching for that very closely. We'll keep you updated. Tonight, south winds pick up. We are in the 40s. No fog, breezy, mild temperatures. Tomorrow, 60s on the way, but windy. And then the light rain moves in from the west. Only a 20% chance of rain here in Oklahoma City. Light showers in western Oklahoma. Dry Thursday and Friday, and we're watching for the rain, maybe a wintry mix or even some snow possible for the weekend. And that's your full forecast. We're back right after this.